proof and usage of inverse integration technique so basically the inverse integration technique it, it like, is like this so if we have to integrate f inverse x yeah its integral will just be equal to x of x times f inverse x minus the capital f is antiderivative of f of f inverse x plus c so this is the formula yeah and let me show you uh, by uh, finding uh, the integral of one function let's say for f of x equals to e to the power x our f inverse x is ln of x yeah so for that case let's find the integral so for ln x dx our x is x itself f inverse x is ln x minus our capital F our capital F is our antiderivative of f of x so f of x e to the power x that means capital f x is also integral is also e to the power x so e to the power x of f inverse x is ln x so uh, yeah e to the power in place of x uh, we will have f inverse x that's ln x and then plus c yeah and yeah we get x ln x this is just x minus x plus c so you see it was really easy like using this formula uh, to find the integral of inverse functions is really easy yeah and now let us prove this let's try to prove this so let's say i have integral of f inverse x dx now let me uh, make u substitution uh, let me say that y is f inverse x then f of y will be x and then f dash y dy will be dx yeah. now for this problem this will be y and then dx will be f dash y dy yeah. now if i do integration by parts with this as u and this as b we will have y and the integral will be f of y minus integration of derivative of y will be 1 integration of f dash y will be f of y dy now after this step now again we have to integrate f of y that gives us y f of y minus integral of f of y will be capital f y plus c now we know that f of y is x y is f inverse x and f of y is x that's why a uh, y will be f inverse x f of y will be x minus capital f of y is f inverse x plus c and so we get our formula that integral of f inverse x dx is actually equals to x f inverse x minus capital F of f inverse x plus c. Now let us see some more cases where this can be used. Let's say if we have to integrate sin inverse x, it makes our life a lot easier. x and then f inverse x is just sin inverse x. Yeah and integral of sin x is minus cos x minus cos and in place of x we should have f inverse x f inverse x is sin inverse x let's see now see it makes our life a lot easier now we can get the answer it's x sin inverse x and this is just root under 1 minus x square see how simple this was if you have to use integration by parts it's gonna take a lot of steps but with this formula this was quite a bit easier now if we have to integrate cos inverse x let's say we can do this by using the same formula x and then f inverse x minus and then capital f integration of cos x will be sine in place of x we should have f inverse x that's cos inverse x plus c now we already have the answer x cos inverse x minus this will be root under 1 minus x square 
plus a see we have the answer in two steps and if we if you use integration by parts it will be a lot harder let me show you how let's say we have to integrate sine base x first of all uh, you will let uh, 1 as uh, b and sine base x as u and then you will get sine inverse x integral of 1 will be x minus integral of derivative of sine base x will be 1 by root integral 1 minus x square integral of 1 will be x dx yeah now now uh, you have to let this uh, over here as y so if you let y equals to 1 minus x square our dy will be minus 2x dx yeah. so dy minus 2 will be x dx and then we will have x sine inverse x minus integral of x dx will be dy by minus 2 by this will be root y yeah. now after this we will have x sine inverse x minus minus is plus root under dy by 2 root y now integral of 1 by 2 root y is just root y and then you will have x sine inverse x plus root y and y is uh, y is just 1 minus x square plus c okay but is it plus sign over here i don't think uh, it's plus sign yeah that's that's correct that's correct so you see this took us four steps yeah we, though we get the correct answer that in maths we always get correct answer if we are doing right yeah that's a fact but it took four steps and it took just two steps so this is how this formula is uh, easier and helpful hope you understood the proof it was just of u substitution and we, i also show you some examples do keep using this uh, formula in the next video i will show you uh, differentiation of f inverse x dx and how how that is helpful Thanks for watching, look forward to seeing you in the next video.